Order the fractions from least to greatest. To order the fractions from least to greatest, it would be helpful if the fractions had common denominators. I see the denominators are 7 and 14. The least common denominator is 14. We need to rewrite the fraction 3 sevenths and the fraction 2 sevenths as equivalent fractions with a denominator of 14. Let's start with the fraction 3 sevenths. In order to obtain a denominator of 14, we will multiply the numerator and the denominator by 2. This creates an equivalent fraction of 6 fourteenths. So the fraction 3 sevenths is equivalent to 6 fourteenths. Now let's look at the fraction 2 sevenths. To create an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 14, we will also multiply by 2 over 2. So the fraction 2 sevenths is equivalent to 4 fourteenths. Now let's rewrite these three fractions as equivalent fractions with a common denominator of 14. 3 sevenths becomes 6 fourteenths, 2 sevenths is now 4 fourteenths, <clears throat> and 5 fourteenths remains as 5 fourteenths. Once the, once the fractions all have the same denominator, all we have to do is put their numerators in order from least to greatest, and then the fractions will also be in order from least to greatest. The smallest fraction will be 4 fourteenths, then the fraction in the middle will be 5 fourteenths, and the greatest fraction will be 6 fourteenths. Now, to get our final answer, we will replace the equivalent fractions with their original form. 4 fourteenths began as the fraction 2 sevenths, so that will be the smallest fraction. 5 fourteenths originally was 5 fourteenths, and it will stay in the middle. And the fraction 6 fourteenths was originally written as 3 sevenths. So from least to greatest, the fractions are 2 sevenths, 5 fourteenths, and 3 sevenths.